So after this uh, first seminar of teaching this thing called waveform optimizing, I uh, developed it a little further and started teaching more seminars to other people who had also learned how to do this self-muscle testing thing in the same classes I'd taken. And people liked it, and it seemed to be working. People were getting great results with it. And uh, one of the people who took one of the seminars was a former nun who uh, had li been living in uh, Scotland. And she came to the U.S. and took all the different seminars from this one trainer and then came to mine. And she said, oh, when she left, she said, oh, this is why I came to the U.S. was to learn this from you. And she went back, and a few months later, I got a, a, a letter from her. And in the letter was a folded up a photocopy of an article about a device called the Bicom. And she wrote a little note down at the bottom of the photocopy and said, see, I knew you were right. Here's a machine that does the same thing. Well, this naturally got my interest and intrigued me. So I started to look for this Bicom device. Well, this was back in like 95, 6. And uh, this was in the early stages of the internet. And I looked all over, and there weren't many websites actually at that time, but I, I finally found some group of biophysicists in Europe, and I emailed them all, and I said, does anybody know about this Bicom device? Because you know, I want to know who makes it, because it didn't say who made it or where it was from. So I got like, no, 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 no. And then somebody wrote, oh yeah, you're looking for this company called Regamed, and they're in Munich, and here's their contact and their address. Cool. So I wrote to them, and I said, please send me your literature. Well, some weeks later, I got a packet of literature from them, and here I open it up, and there's a study of 200 people with allergies. Well, here I have this terrible allergy situation, and the study of people with allergies, 200 people, 82% of them completely cured. No longer any allergic reaction to the original offending allergen that was treated. Another 11% greatly improved. Well, that only leaves 7%. That's like 93%. And of those 7%, several percentage of the people had moved away or something and couldn't complete the study. And there were just a handful that it didn't work for. So I said, like, wow, this efficacy of this therapy is incredible. This is what I'm looking for. So now I have the phone number. So I called him up in Germany. There was one guy who spoke English. And I talked to him. I said, where in Iowa, where I was like, where in Iowa can I get this therapy? And he said, uh, mm, well, er, um, uh, we only have seven machines in the United States. So I said, okay, well, where's the closest one? So it turned out it was in St. Louis, which is about, hour, about four and a half hours away. So I called the guy. It was a chiropractor, older chiropractor. had been doing this kind of in the closet, calling it uh, electroacupuncture, which it has built into it, you know, electroacupuncture. So I made appointments, and I went down, and I saw him, and I had two sessions back-to-back. And I had the most dramatic improvement in my allergies, even with the very simple procedures that he was doing. He wasn't even fully trained, but it still was really effective. And I had the most dramatic improvement of anything that I had tried. And I knew from the study that you had to have a series of treatments. So I wasn't surprised when the symptoms came back, but they stayed back at a lower level. So it was still better. So then again, it was several months before I could get back to St. Louis. I went and had another treatment. Also, very dramatic improvement. And that fall, that fall season, I had less allergy symptoms than I'd ever had in my life. And my friends were sneezing and coughing and itching eyes and everything. And I was like, hmm, well, I'm not having that. That's pretty cool. So I got a hold of the company and I went there and negotiated the distribution rights for that device and started to import it into the United States. And I, because I had to train people, I went to Germany about eight times, and I studied with the top teachers and took all the seminars. As the representative of this company for the U.S., I got to take all the training for free, which was great. And I got some other resources and things for free, which was terrific. Mm -hmm. And so I um, started to really get involved in that aspect of it. Um, as I was going for that training, the most advanced training that I got was a special seminar on a new way of treating cancer cells. And uh, this brilliant naturopathic guy, a guy named Martin Keimer, he got some information from one of his colleagues about the genetic research on cancer cells. And it turns out that in several forms of cancer, quite a lot of them, there's a particular gene in the cell 
called the P53 gene. It's also called the suicide gene because it triggers what's called apoptosis or normal cell death. And this is happening millions of times a day in everybody's body. Is that old cells that are degenerating, it's natural for them to die. And so this P53 gene can sense when the cell is beyond repair, and it triggers this dismantling of the cell, which happens in this very orderly way. And this is, like I say, happening millions of times a day in the body. Well, in tumor cells, the P53 gene's function gets suppressed or mutated and it can't trigger the natural death of the cell. And so there's enough energy in other parts of the cell that it can still divide, and the cells are degenerate and they can divide, but they can't die. They've lost the ability to die. And so this brilliant Martin Keimer guy figured out how to isolate the energy of the P53 gene and upgrade it, like increase it, which would bring it back online, make it strong enough that it could trigger apoptosis and cause the tumor cells to die. And so I went and studied this and learned how to do that. And I came back to the U.S. and I started treating some people who had cancer. And they started getting better. And I said, well, this is both great and not so great because I'm not an MD. And I said, I could, you know, I could get busted for practicing medicine without a license here because people are going to get better and they're going to talk about it. So I decided that I would open a cancer clinic in the alternative cancer therapy center of the world, which is Tijuana, Mexico. There are about 90 clinics there. So with a business partner, I opened a clinic called the New Hope Clinic and started to work with people with cancer. And, um, we would get people who are already decimated by chemo and radiation and, you know, their immune systems are really shot and they'd come in looking for some miracle. And we didn't have miracles, but we had really good therapy. And so, um, I, I was very fortunate to have about half a dozen clients who conventional medicine had written them off and said, go get your affairs in order and you know, you, you're not going to live more than so many months or whatever. And there were about half a dozen of those that we completely turned around. They got the cancer completely gone, it doesn't show up on any CAT scan or PET scan or anything. And all the underlying causes, all the toxicity in their body, everything had all been treated and purged out of them. And there are many of them that are alive and well today that I'm still in touch with. And this was back in 1999, I opened that clinic. Oh. But the other thing that I found was that the only ones who actually got well were the ones who were willing to go to those deep, dark, inner conflicts that were really at the basis of the problem. Death wish, no reason to live, stuff like that. And when they'd go there and resolve that, those were the ones who got well. And if they wouldn't go there and they wouldn't resolve that, they didn't make it. So this was really inspiring to me and really led me to take an even greater interest in further developing these pure awareness techniques that I've been talking about so that I could really help people resolve stuff at that level because it was so clear that this is central to people's well-being and good health. That's amazing.